Um, I have to go to uh, VMware Fusion to do the uh, <clears throat> processing and the uh, windows. So um, for XPS, we use a uh, um, software called Advantage provided by the uh, Camel Scientific. So I'm going to click this one, double click, and uh, wait for this thing to fully open up. Okay, and then go to File, New, and Data Grid. All right, and then we will import. All right, um, go up, and these are standard, so um, I probably want to go to this one, and uh, we'll take first one here. So we have uh, several spectrum uh, spectra. Okay, carbon one S and uh, copper two P, and this is a copper uh, OJ and oxygen one S and uh, survey. So we're gonna do the uh, survey first. Select survey and click open. Okay, and then you can click this icon to expand it. Oops. Where did it go? Shrink it down. Yeah, we have to uh, we got it wrong I had um, <coughs> grid. Okay. okay. So binding energy goes from zero to um, above thirteen hundred. You can actually go to display and turn off Binding energy and express this in terms of kinetic energy. You notice that one to the other way around, right? Um, because they are in the opposite direction, right? Okay, so XPS data is generally processed as uh, binding energy, so I'm going to work with binding energy. Okay, and uh, they have this icon here. We have to click this, and they're going to look at all the uh, possible elements they can find. So let's do that. And this may take a few minutes. Okay, looks like it found uh, copper, oxygen, and carbon. So we have uh, copper 2P and uh, about 34.6%. Oxygen is 45.24%. And the carbon, we found it 20.16%. And carbon can come from the, um, you know, the, this cop, uh, copper nanoparticle sample may have uh, uh, already some kind of carbon coding on it. Or we use the, um, the double-sided carbon tape, so it may have come from that too. So anyway, so here there is a copper 1s and the oxygen 1s here and the copper 2p, right? And uh, um, other peaks um, are usually from, like for example, copper, you know, 1s or 2p or something like that. I think that's what these are probably. And then some of them are OJ peaks. Um, and uh, so we actually can uh, find uh, what these peaks are. Right? So we use this uh, uh, magnifying glass and uh, select those area. And then it gets expanded. <clears throat> okay. So you do the ID to find um, unmarked peaks to see which element gave you these uh, um, electrons. Okay, so we can actually pick um, elements. For example, you know, it's carbon, right? And uh, it gives you, yeah, right here, looks like this is carbon, this is carbon. 
or we can go to this uh, um, the ID by energy range. So this over here is about um, 75. So we put uh, 75 in here and uh, uh, click on this. And actually you can move this, uh, um, come on. Okay, let me grab it to the middle right here. And um, you see these uh, uh, possible elements, right? So um, this is most likely the uh, copper 3P. Okay, 3P, one third, I mean, a two, three, three half and uh, one half. Okay, so copper is already taken care of by uh, using uh, 2PP. So now we're gonna move this um, over here to the next range. And again, um, this is most likely copper 3S, right? Okay, so these are um, actually copper peaks. So I'm not going to uh, label anything, but you could actually. And how about these peaks? They're probably copper OJ. I'm not sure how it's going to come out. But okay, again. ID All right. Yeah, it's pretty slow today on my computer on the Mac uh, emulating Windows, but all right. So grab that and then bring it over here. Okay, CULM2, yeah, that's an OJ peak. And um, I guess, I'm guessing that these are either OJ peak or other, like plasma peak, that type of thing. But anyway, so there is no other elements. I mean, the program told you there is. Okay, so um, I'm going to use this um, magnifying glasses with X on that and then click and go to the uh, full range. So um, I'm pretty happy with what they found. Um, you know, this will give you a full reset half maxima, peak binding energy value, and uh, counts here, counts per second, a hundred percent. And then Q means that, you know, when you click this off, means that uh, um, this element is not used for the uh, calculating the percentage. But since we want that, uh, we don't need it like this. And then I'm going to save this data file as uh, um, cop cump01 uh, oj is the name of the file and then survey um, since this will be a new folder I mean the, I'm going to name that with a dash a okay I'm going to pause the video here because uh, 